Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and welcome to International Mars Science Foundation. This is a website that was actually recommended by one of you guys and I decided to take a look at it because it combines quite a lot of really cool uh, mini games and a lot of science of the future of Mars exploration. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> And so this wonderful website was recommended by Jacob Stormberg on Facebook, who basically showed it to me earlier. And at first I wasn't sure what exactly this is until I realized this is actually related to a TV show called Mars that started uh, broadcasting uh, several months ago. There's actually six episodes right now. And it's a pretty, pretty cool show. You can actually check it out by clicking on this. And uh, it's sort of a TV show that combines real science, real future science with uh, people like Elon Musk, who's actually part of the team or I guess one of the advisors for the TV show, and of course his company SpaceX that also plays a role in this TV show. But we're not going to talk about the TV show because it's actually the website that I wanted to review. And here, what is really, really cool about it is that they try to make it look like and sound like and feel like an actual mission to Mars in the year 2030 something. So basically something like 20 years in the future. Now here, for example, you can click on this live uh, cameras and they'll show you what the Martian surface looks like, what the colony looks like. This is actually, it does change a lot. Um, I've tried to see if this was a pre-recorded sort of loop, but it turns out that these people do different things every time I, I uh, come to this website. Uh, some cameras are, uh, are off, some cameras uh, get online later on. So there's quite a lot of really cool realistic things here. Uh, and the coolest part about this is this. So you can actually apply to be one of the Martian commanders or Martian pilots or whatnot. And what you do in this particular part of the website is these really, really cool uh, miniature video games or mini games uh, where you have to do different things. Like for example, um, this game right here that you can also play in VR mode or in standard mode does this. And your job is to guide the uh, spacecraft uh, through these loops to basically get to Mars. Now, this might not be super realistic, but you know what? It's a kind of a fun arcade -ish game that does add a bit of a flavor to this website. So there is this type of a mission. There is also something like this, where your job is to basically guide a rover across the surface of Mars and try to pick up boxes that you can see on the map and then deliver them back to the rocket that is going to take off and bring those boxes back uh, to planet Earth. Uh, so this is another mission that you can kind of play and it's, it is very easy and also kind of fun and it does get very challenging if you play later levels to the point where you'll need to try and try again and get really, really, really good at it. All right, so another mission here looks like this. And in this particular mission, you're supposed to guide this uh, SpaceX looking rocket uh, by pressing left and right to essentially help it land on this uh, pad right there. So this is a very realistic technology that um, Elon Musk and his company SpaceX has recently improved to the point where they've had five successful landings. And this is exactly what you're doing here, trying to land this on Mars without really damaging anything. So it has to be vertical, it has to be very well aligned, and maybe, just maybe, we're done. Let's just move it a little bit this way, and here we go. Now, this level also gets more difficult, especially once you get things like uh, dust storms, wind, and so on and so forth. And almost perfect. So the second level will also have wind. So now you actually have to um, make sure that you understand how the wind works and basically move the rocket against the wind so it lands successfully. Now, once you pass all of these missions, you'll get points and you'll get uh, essentially rank that will um, increase as you get better and better at it. So there's a few other um, games I didn't show you, like, for example, life support repair. Um, there is also robotic manipulation where you have to um, sort out different um, rocks containing either ice or water or iron. And this is kind of um, a mini game that involves a little bit of chemistry that does get a little bit more challenging with time. There's also something called evaluations. These are mini games that essentially test your endurance, uh, your base engineering, team coordination. So these are actually kind of hard. So for example, in this test, you have to uh, test your memory uh, by essentially uh, pressing the right object um, as it appears on the screen. So this, uh, this is connected to this, this is connected to this, and it does get more and more difficult as you progress through levels. So let me just show you one of the more advanced levels here. And so here is level three where things already get a little bit more complicated because you have to remember a lot of other things. So for example, red is here, this is middle, uh, this is here, and so on and so forth. So this does get progressively more difficult and it does test your memory and your um, operation under stress really, really, really well. Oh, there we go. First, uh, first fail. 
The other mini games here are base engineering, where you basically get to construct a base, moving blocks around, making sure that everything is connected and everything is sealed um, and is ready for colonists. Uh, there's also something called team coordination, which is a card matching game where you have to match a certain person with a certain profession and make sure that you actually remember their faces and, of course, their professions. And this is one of the more difficult games there is. The botany game is yet another puzzle that essentially um, creates this kind of a field where you have to try to um, try to uh, use these horizontal and vertical arrows to cover all of the... Oh boy, this is going to be hard. All of the seeds, so basically they get germinated and um, are able to grow on a colony. Now, I think I kind of screwed up here, so we need to restart this. And I think here we go. All right, excellent. So this took me a while because it does get progressively more difficult like every other level in this game. And there's also a few really interesting quizzes here that basically give you an idea of the physiology and psychology required to be successful in these missions to Mars. Like, for example, there's a question here. While traveling to Mars, which joints will be most prone to bone deterioration? So is it spine, neck and jaw? Is it shoulders, elbows, wrists and hands? Or is it hips, knees, ankles and feet? I'm going to go for spine because I think spine is the one you don't really use almost at all in space. There's also psychological analysis, something called special factors, but the one uh, that's really interesting to me is the mathematics and the core science. So that, let's actually go through these two quizzes and see how well we do. Uh, I haven't really done this yet, and I want to find out if I can succeed in math in space. So 4 plus 5 times 3. Alright, that's 19. Next, uh, solve this. And a lot of these are actually relatively simple algebra questions which um, if you're in school, sh you should definitely try because some of them are kind of fun. So last question here is how much liquid could you fit in a right uh, circular cylinder? So that's um, a kind of a um, can, I guess, that is 10 centimeters tall and two centimeters wide. And I guess what we're going to do here is we're going to find the uh, area of a circle, the base of the cylinder, and multiply it by the height. So this will be pi times radius squared multiplied by 10. So the radius here is one, so that means that the area of a circular base is going to be pi, 3.14, multiplied by 10 is going to give us 3142 centimeters cube. All right, excellent. Well, that, that one, I'm glad I didn't make any mistakes in. And uh, science is very, very similar. It's basically a quiz format that will um, kind of test your general knowledge of science. With questions like this, when a gas turns into a liquid, what is the process called? Now, I'm pretty sure the answer here is condensation. Yes, it's green. And basically here, you're going to be answering a combination of science and space science questions. And let's actually go through some of them. Let's see what kind of a score we get. Which part of the sun is easily visible during a total solar eclipse? I'm going to go for Corona. It's not photosphere, it's not core. It is kind of solar first too, but yeah, okay, it's Corona. It's the area or, um, or the... Uh, almost like in the atmosphere around the sun that's ridiculously, ridiculously hot. Which of the following elements is a naturally occurring metal? That would be iron, ferrum. And the last question is, which device measures radioactivity? And I believe this is a Geiger Muller counter. Excellent, five out of five, or I guess 10 out of 10 in core sciences. So it looks like we passed uh, these initial tests but we didn't really pass everything just yet. So this is essentially what this website is. Uh, it does connect a little bit uh, to the TV show, but not to the point where you have to watch it to understand what's going on. But you will definitely learn a lot of things by exploring these simulations, uh, doing these mini games, and definitely trying these quizzes and tests, because it kind of gives you an idea of what uh, and how difficult a mission to Mars actually is. Now, all in all, I'm kind of impressed with this website. I'm definitely going to go and watch that TV show, TV show now because they've kind of convinced me that it sounds fun. And since Elon Musk is one of their advisors, might as well watch that as well, right? Anyway, so do try this website. The link for it is in the description below. Try these games, uh, you know, fly around Mars, try to land a rocket or possibly try to sort out various samples on Mars. And anyway, so that's all I wanted to show you in this video. And definitely subscribe to this channel if you still haven't. And come back tomorrow to learn something else interesting using video games or possibly watch me play a video game that teaches you something. I'll see you guys in the next video. Game you later. And as always, bye-bye.